What's going on guys, JRPG Enthusiast Shadow Elite coming at you guys with another video. I want to talk about Persona 5. It was announced at the PlayStation Experience event that it will be coming to both PS3 and PS4 in North America. Well, this is pretty much stating the obvious. I, I thought that, I mean, like, are you really just going to give us the PS3 version and give Japan the PS4 version? Like, wh why would you do that? But, uh... Yeah, it just it was announced for the PS4. It also um, the guy also said that it's um it's um English release is gonna follow up the Japanese release. So the Japanese release is gonna come out, and then we're gonna get it soon after that. North America will get it soon after that. So uh, that could mean anything, guys. That could mean anywhere anywhere from the day it's released in Japan in 2015 to 2016 that we might get it. You know. But uh, hopefully it means that it's coming out maybe a day after Japan releases, maybe a week after Japan releases, maybe even a month after Japan releases. So that, that's what it could mean. I'm going, I'm thinking maybe a month or maybe like a season in between. Maybe like if it comes out in spring of um, 2015 Japan, it'll come out maybe in the summer for North America or worse yet the fall. But, uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm banking on. I'm going to bank on maybe if it gets released in the spring, you know, early um, 2015, it'll definitely come out maybe by the summer, maybe by the fall. I can definitely see it come out during the summer because summer is kind of a dry spell when it comes to gaming. So uh, everybody can buy, you know, you get maximum sales from that atlas. You know, seriously, nothing comes out during the summer. June, July, and August, nothing pretty much comes out. I can tell you that firsthand, <laughs> being the guy that has his birthday in August, I know nothing comes out. I almost have nothing to buy on my birthday because of that. But yeah, looking forward to uh, Persona 5, of course, you guys know. You guys know I'm a huge Persona fan. I love Persona 4. I love Persona 3. Eh, I don't really play Persona 1 and 2, but yeah, I'm, I'm a huge Persona 3 and 4 plan, fan. I'm playing Persona Q right now, and I'm loving it. I mean, I can't put it down. Um, it kind of, it, it kind of drags at some points, but it's, it's not really that, it's not really that big of a deal. And to be honest, it's like um, Persona meets Etrian Odyssey gameplay, and I, I really don't like making the maps when it comes to um, playing these types of games. I, I that's why I never, never really played Etrian Odyssey, and I can't stand, cause I, I, I can't stand making the maps. Because I think it's it breaks up the pacing and just makes it uh, need, needlessly long. It's like I should be on the third dungeon by now, but I'm still on the second dungeon because I'm just you know taking my time to map out everything. And I didn't really have this kind of problem in um you know when I played a game like Demon Gaze because it pretty much had the same setup map wise, but you didn't have to make the map. It just filled out the map for you as you were going. I didn't really have a problem with that. But yeah, Persona Q is a hell of a lot of fun, and I'm um, I'm hoping I'm not promising anything, guys, but I'm, that sometime very soon that I will review Persona Q. So uh, that's uh, pretty much it. That's all I got to say for right now. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.